still proud, ladies and gentlemen, that we have made some progress. Her Excellency Samia Suhuru Suluhu, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, is there. We have a Vice President in the Republic of South Sudan. We have the Speaker of the National Assembly in the Republic of South Sudan. And we have Minister of Defense in the Ministry of South Sudan. In Uganda, in Uganda, listen, yes. we have the Vice President. We have the first Vice Prime Minister. We have the first Deputy Prime Minister. Prime Minister. We are proud of those. In Rwanda, we have 60% representation of women. And of course, we have female ministers in all these partner states. We are very proud of it. And we have our women working hard to feed their families. Chief Justice in Kenya. Chief Justice in Kenya. Wow. We are very proud of, the, of those. But that's not enough. Because the ordinary women still have to walk 10 miles to get water. They die at childbirth. They can't send their children to school. There are so many challenges. We cannot, we are proud, but it's not enough for us. We have to do more. And for us to do more, there has to be political will on the part of the leaders. We have to work on removing all the barriers to women's participation and creating an enabling and legal and policy environment. That is our responsibility. And we Kwa mama ni wengi zaidi kuliko wanaume basi tuwe na viongozi wa mama wengi zaidi katika nchi zetu hilo ndio la msingi nimesisitiza kwamba wanawake popote walipo wajione kwamba wao ni viongozi kwanza ni viongozi wa familia e, nyumba ambayo haina mwanamke hata utakuta maendeleo haina maendeleo yanaregarega kwa hiyo popote walipo wanawake wajione kwamba wao ni viongozi na uongozi usiishie tu nyumbani waende kwenye taifa waende pia katika nikisema region kwa maana ya jumuiya wao viongozi wa familia, viongozi wa taifa, lakini waende pia kwenye uongozi wa jumuiya. Kwa hiyo popote walipo wa mama wajiinue wa, wa, wa na sisi wanaume tuko tayari kuwainua. Lakini wenyewe pia wajitokeze katika kujitokeza na kujitokeza mbele katika kuonyesha uwezo wao katika uongozi. Lakini wanaume pia tuwape nafasi. Kwa sababu e, katika sehemu zote ambazo ni mwaya kufanya kazi, mimi ni muhandisi wanawake wa handisi wanafanya kazi nzuri sana hawana longolongo hawana ubabaishaji hawana uchakachuaji hivyo hivyo katika uongozi wanawake ukiwapa uongozi hawana longolongo wataongoza kwa msingi wa sheria e, hawana kona kona nyingi sana kwa hiyo tukiwa na wanawake wengi viongozi nchi lazima zitaendelea majina anaitwa engineer pamela masai ni mbunge wa bunge la Afrika Mashariki Mwenyekiti mwenyekiti tumeona uh, Save Afrika Mashariki na rais mwanamama Samia Suluh Hassan. Hii inaleta chachu ipi kwa kina mama kujiingiza na kushiriki katika uh, siasa? Hii ni chachu kubwa sana hasa kwa wanawake ambao ni wanawake wadogo kwa maana nanguzunguzia mabinti kwa sababu uh, hatukuwahi hata siku moja au uh, katika historia hasa Tanzania hatujawahi kuona uh, mwanamke kiongozi hasa kwa nafasi ya juu kama uh, rais. Naamini matendo au vitu ambavyo atavitenda mheshimiwa rais ni hivyo vitakavyotengeneza mazingira mazuri zaidi kwa wanawake walioko nchini Tanzania na hata nje ya Tanzania ili kuweza kuwavutia zaidi na kuonyesha kwamba wanawake wakipewa nafasi wanaweza. Hii ni sisi kwetu ni, ni fursa na nadhani 
mheshimiwa rais anaweza kuitumia fursa hiyo zaidi kuwajenga watoto wa kike ili na wao wengi wenye ndoto za kuwa viongozi katika nafasi mbalimbali mbali, waweze kufanya vizuri na wasikate tamaa through the, this meeting we expect what in this meeting we expect that at a regional level we'll have political commitment to make sure that member states that are part of the East African community uh, implement legislative procedures and take the treaty into play to make sure that uh, each country has got a policy, has got an, a, a, an act which supports women to be in political decision making. Okay.